Well, hi there and welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So whatever you're trying to get accomplished in your cleaning business, whatever procedures you have, whatever goals you have, let's maybe look at confirming versus warning. It's kind of the positive versus the negative. Uh, let's give a couple quick examples. Let's say you always wanted the vehicles leaving your office to have all of the right equipment and chemicals they need for the jobs they're doing. Let's say floor work. Um, well, rather than say, listen, if we ever catch anybody leaving here, they get to the job and you don't have every, anything you need and you don't have everything you need, uh, you're going to get written up. I mean, that we, th you're in trouble. On the other hand, if you go with the positive confirming way, go with right, a checklist and say, okay, check, check, check. Make sure every time that you confirm what you need. Let's give another example. Oh, let's say it's how we treat our customers. Rather than trying to catch people, you know, maybe doing the wrong thing in terms of how they treat your customer and say, listen, you're getting written up, you're getting a corrective interview. Let's go the other way and say, listen, look for times that you see that your employees and your staff and supervisors are really giving, giving exceptional service. And rather than just forget about it, make a point of saying, listen, and reward that and compliment that and point that out, confirm that. So let's look at positive confirming versus maybe leaning so much on negative warning. Something to think about. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.